Alright guys, today is going to be a possibly short video, it could be long, who knows, but I bought that box of vintage cards um, with the last bit of my money, uh, and now because I have no money, you guys should uh, give me some love by liking the video and subscribing. Um, I'll start off with somewhat boring stuff and leave the best for last, and don't just skip to the end of the video. Um, throughout the video, I'll be giving away uh, random cool cards uh, to everyone to you guys. Um, so let's get into it. Um, because I don't have much, I'm going to show you some, oh, some random cards I've got. So right here, even though it's not Pokemon, uh, let's get some light into here. Oh, the light is not going to be nice. Is that better? I don't know. We have some, uh, promo cards from Force of Will. Uh, when I bought the vintage box, um, they gave me, uh, these promo cards for free. So I have a whole playset of one card and a playset of this card, which is the stone from Dark Crystal, and the other promo card was Dark Revolution. So I got those promos. I'm gonna have to put that back in the plastic later. And then I bought on eBay... An Electabuzz promo, which is from the first movie, and a uh, Misty Cedra pre release. I don't know if you can see the pre release. Here. Oh, yeah, there you go. Pre release and the first movie promo. And then I got a, I believe this one that came in was Zapdos. Um, let's see if I can shimmy up that one card see what card it is or it doesn't want to shimmy up I want to keep it sealed for a for my sales collection no it doesn't want to shimmy up but I believe it's the Zap Zapdos one uh, I could be wrong oh I don't want to I don't want to unseal it, but I believe it's Zapdos. At least it's one of the three legendary birds. I've, got, I've ordered all three, so it's one of the one of the ones I ordered. Um, maybe I'll, I'll post a picture later if I can get it shimmied up on Twitter, but uh, I guess I'll give away the first code card. So this is Ancient Origins code card. Let me know what you got in the description or in the comment section below i really want to know who claimed these and what they got um just so i know i'm not wasting these code cards and ripping them up if no one's claiming them uh going on to boring stuff that i got in that box so we got a bunch of energies we got a full heal energy a whole bunch of recycle energies um some potion energies a lot of double colors energies um practically all from different sets. Then we ha got a whole bunch of trainers. We got some bills. Uh, where's the end of bill? Oh, where's the end of bill? There we go. And then we got some potions. Uh, quite a few. Uh, da, da, da. And then we have a Mr. Fuji. We got a focus band. We have a sprout tower. We have another one. A pokeball. And got a few more pokeballs. And we got another pile of trainers so we have some gust of wind uh, we got some goop gas attack some switches it's a moo moo milk a lot of berries a lot <laughs> we got gambler a pokedex a pokemon center energy removal um, energy search, and a recycle with a sad jigglypuff, energy retrieval, gold berry, I'm sorry if I, my, my arms are really reaching around awkward, so, uh, sorry if I'm not showing off these cards all that great, but I'm sure not many people care about vintage trainers. People that are into trainers are people that play um, the card game, and everyone knows that you can't play vintage cards in the card game if you want a standard deck. 
So there's that pile. Now let's give away another code card. Here is a Burning Shadows code card that Minoan got. Um, cause I want to know who claim- or I want to know if people are actually claiming these. Um, now we're going into a whole bunch of common cards, uh, vintage cards. So we got, uh, Voltorb from Team Rocket. Um, I'm waiting for more perfect fits to sleeve all the ones that aren't sleeved. And the ones that are sleeved, I want to get, um, red dragon shield, cause I color coordinate, and only my double- doubles will get- uh, perfect fits. Um, yeah, uh, the only doubles that don't get perfect fits are the holographic, which get uh, dragon shield uh, sleeves as well. Now we have some star use from base set Magnemite from base set 2. We got four of those. Uh, we have a Krabby from Fossil. We have three of those. A uh, Goldeen from Jungle, a uh, Goldeen from Base Set 2, um, a Shelter from Fossil, we have three of them. I believe we have two Spiros from Jungle, a uh, Rattata from Base Set, we have two. We have a Venonat from Base Set 2, a, few, a lot of Dratini from Team Rocket. Um, then we have a Centrit from Neo Genesis, we have three of those. We have two of these artwork, a totodile from Neo, Neo Genesis. Then we have the alternate art from Neo Genesis as well. We got two of those as well. Um, then we have a swine nub uh, from Neo Genesis. Uh, Eevee from Team Rocket. We've got quite a few. Then we have an Eevee from Jungle. We have a Magneton from Fossil. I know I already have a couple of these in my binder. Uh, we have two Furrets from Neo Genesis, a uh, Ghastly from Fossil, a Tokopi from Neo Genesis, we've got three of those. Um, Bailey from Neo Genesis, also three. Uh, uh, Fero from Jungle, uh, Dugong from Base Set 2, another one. A Cloyster from Fossil, we have two of those. Sea King from Base Set 2, we have two of them. And Seal from Base Set 2. And I believe I also have a seal from the base set somewhere in these piles. Moving on to more commons and uncommons. I believe there may be rares at the end of this pile as well. Um, so we got some Neo Genesis Pikachus, uh, some base set Machop, or Machokes, I mean. Um, Didrio from Jungle, uh, Gloom from Neo Genesis, Ivysaur from base set 2. Um, Need Arena from base set 2, a seal from base set, um, Kingler from Fossil, a uh, pile of swine from Neo Genesis, Croconaw from Neo Genesis, uh, Magikarp from base set 2, that's the only one I got from base set 2, and then the rest are all from Team Rocket. Got quite a few. Um, then we have some Bulbasaur from base set 2, and then just regular base set. Um, Erica's Oddish from uh, Gym Challenge. I know before I said this was Gym Heroes, but I searched it up and found out it's Gym Challenge. Uh, then we have Nidoran from Base Set 2, a Nidoran from Jungle, uh, Chikorita from Neo Genesis, uh, the alternate art from Neo Genesis, uh, Grimer from Fossil, a Sabrina's Ghastly. A regular Ghastly from Base Set 2. We have some Jatini from Base Set 2. And we have some just regular Base Set. And then we have one from a uh, Gym Challenge. We have another Sabrina's Haunter, but it's uh, from Gym Heroes instead of Gym Challenge. Oh, this one's the one from Gym Challenge. I thought we already went through it. Uh, and then we have a Dark Jolteon from Rocket. Um. Dark Dragonair from Rocket, we've got quite a few. Oh, there we go. And then we have some Dragonairs from uh, Base Set. I know I have this in my binder as well. Uh, so we just got more. Uh, we got a Dark Vaporeon from Rocket and Electabuzz from Base Set 2. We got two of those. We have a Dark Machamp from Team Rocket. Uh, apparently this was a really playable, a re really good card back in the day. 
it was very playable. And now, not so much. Uh, so we got a Zapdos from Fossil, a Elekid um, from Neo Genesis, an Articuno from Fossil, a Ditto from Fossil, a Dark Dragonite from Team Rocket, a Dragonite from Fossil, and that's the end of that pile. Oh, 10 minutes in, this is gonna be a long video. Here is another code card from Burning Shadows. Again, let me know in the description, or in the comments below. I would, for some reason, I keep saying description. I wanna know if people are claiming these code cards. Now we've got some first edition cards. We have a Dratini, a Koga's Coughing, Erica's Oddish, we've got a couple of those. We've got a Sabrina's Ghastly, a Chikorita, another one, a Togepi, a Gloom, a Sabrina's Haunter, um, a Sabrina's Gengar, a uh, Dragonair, a uh, Lieutenant Surge's Jolteon, a Bayleaf, a Crocona, a Sabrina's Abra, Brox's Vulpix. Oh, so this gets us into uh, the promo cards. We've got the Sabrina's Abra for a promo. This is actually um, from the Gym Hero set. Uh, but it is a, who I want to, Wizards of the Coast promo. Then we have some Cleffa promos, an Eagly Buff promo, a Tokubi promo, and then we have two Mewtwo promos, uh, different ones. Then we got a really, uh, sparkly Pikachu, or Pichu promo. And we have four, four of these cool Porygon promos. And last but not least, we have a Dark Persian promo. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but if you... There you go. There's actually Giovanni's face in the shadow in the background. Alright, so that's the end of that pile. And now moving on to some holographic cards that I've got. So we have a Pidget. Pidget. A P Pidget or Pidgeot. Uh... From base set two from uh holographic togetic holographic from G neo genesis we got two of them rockets mew two this one's a really cool one uh from gym heroes then we have erica's dragonair from gym challengers i can't i don't know if you guys can see the hollow that good on on camera uh, then we got a heracross from neo genesis all of these are actually um near mint to mint condition there's a very few that are lightly played and then we got a for alligator a dark dragonite from team rocket a dragonite from fossil a ditto from fossil and there's some more ditto uh there's a vile plume from jungle a vaporeon from jungle uh this one's really nice it's just the it the corners at the bottom are wearing out. I use Zapdos Holographic from Fossil, uh, Kangaskhan from Jungle, Lieutenant Surge's Magneton from Gym Challenge, then we have a couple, I think a few, uh, Gyarados Hollows from uh, Base Set. I don't know if these go for a lot, but I've got to save those for last because I believe those ones go for a tiny bit more. And let's give away an Ultra Prism promo. Alright. And then last but not least, this is a small pile. But here are the best cards I got uh, from that box. So we have a Neo Genesis Meganium uh, Hollow. I already went on... Most of these prices I found on eBay, but it goes from twenty to a hundred dollars. The alternate art of Meganium from Neo Genesis, which goes for thirty to four hundred dollars. A Togetic first edition holographic. It's probably hard to see. Oh, there we go. Um, this one goes for twenty to two hundred dollars. Um, Misty's Gyarados. This one is really nice it's also first edition and this one goes for 50 to 250 
And if you've seen, I do have this uh, first edition in my collection, but the one I have is, I believe, in French. This one's in English. Um, and this one goes for $25 to $600. Now we have a Venusaur holographic from Base Set. This is not first edition, but it is shadowless. Uh, where, I don't know where, what angle is the best angle to get these holographics at. And this goes for $50 to $150. Getting into the good stuff. Uh, we have Rocket Zapdos, which is a holographic. Uh, first edition from Gym Heroes. And this goes for $200 to $400. Chansey, first edition. Uh, this is from Basit as well, an holographic. And... It goes for $150 to $1,000. And last but not least, the best card I've got is a first edition Shadowless Venusaur uh, from Base Set. And this one's pretty good. It's actually in uh, mint condition, actually. Uh, and then we ha it goes from $250 to $1,000. So this one is our best card. I believe this is currently the best card in our collection. Um, but yeah. Got a whole got them double sleeved. I have a perfect fit um with the opening down here and a dragon shield with the opening up here. Just so there's no dust or dirt that gets into the top loader that will wreck the um it won't get to the card and wreck it. So yeah, these are, this is everything I've got. And you know what, let's give away another code card. This one is from Steam Siege. Alright, so that is all of the new additions to the collection. Um, yes, I am now broke. Like, oh, I don't even know when I get paid next. So, that is everything for this video. I want you to go down in the descrip description below and check out my Twitter. Uh, follow me on Twitter because I will be po that's where I'm most active and I'll be posting updates for the channel as well as um, as well as I'll show you some stuff anyways. Uh, as well as I will let you know when we reach 100 subs, so I will be doing a giveaway. So you'll know on Twitter when that giveaway is, and you can also see on Twitter what the giveaway has um, until the official video comes out for it. So I will start posting every mon- or I have started posting every Monday and Friday. Um, so yeah, so stay tuned, subscribe to stay tuned for more, subscribe for the giveaways. Every milestone we get, we will be doing a giveaway. And sorry, this outro is everywhere, jumping everywhere. Um, yeah, like this, like this video too, I want, I wonder what you guys actually like. Um, and giving, reading and receiving feedback is always, um, the best. Uh, that way I can change stuff on the channel and I can kind of like adapt to what you guys what you guys like to see. Um, I guess that's everything that I've got to say uh, for this video. I know this video was pretty long, but I guess that's I guess that's everything. So until next time, see you in the next video.